I recently monetized my YouTube channel and in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how much YouTube paid me for having a small channel of just 2,300 subscribers. So if you're thinking about starting a channel, I just wanted to be transparent and just show you based on my industry, based on what I've done so far, right? The timeline to get to monetization and as well, what you can expect once you actually do monetize your accounts in those first kind of 30 days, as well as 60 days. That's like actually how long I've been monetized for is 60 days. So I'm gonna show you behind the scenes exactly what that looks like so that you have a good idea if you wanna get into YouTube or you're not quite at monetization yet, what you can expect. Okay, so first of all, the things that you need to know of for YouTube monetization is there is two requirements. And these requirements I'm talking about are for the YouTube's partner program where you can have your actual videos monetized and start making money off of the views. There's a different requirement that you can actually monetize through memberships um, and through selling like products on your YouTube accounts. I'm not going to talk about that because I don't actually use any of those monetization features, but that is the first step in the YouTube promotion. And these are the requirements that you're going to first need in order to be eligible for the YouTube partner program. So you're going to need a thousand subscribers plus either 4,000 valid public watch hours or 10 million valid public short views. Now, depending on your strategy, for me, it made a lot more sense to just, I get that 4,000 watch hours and this actually takes the bulk of the time and that has to be in the last 12 months. I was able to get my 1,000 subscribers a lot faster than I was able to get my 4,000 watch hours. And so I'll go over the timeline of that in a little bit here. And But you have also have the option to go 10 million shorts views, which is a lot harder in my opinion but do have that option as well if you're just planning on making shorts uh, to grow your channel. Okay, so those are the requirements that you should be shooting for. Now I'm gonna show you my channel and exactly the stats of my journey getting to monetization. Okay, so now we're in the back end on my channel analytics. And as you can see here, uh, just showing you the entire timeline of my journey here so far. And so I have all the way back to as far as it lets me go, which is February, 2022. I wasn't posting any videos here. And then you can see, I really started uploading my first video in April of 2023. So you can see I uploaded you know, a few videos. I started to get some views right here and you can kind of see those views pretty consistently started to go on that upwards trend right here. And you can see during that time, I was able to get about 2000 subscribers and 4.8 watch hours. And so uh, as you can see here, right, as far as subscribers go, I would say I reached that 1000 subscriber limit more so like near o October or November, uh, I had a 1000 subscribers, but the watch time definitely took a, a bit longer to accumulate. And so I, I reached that around January. Thing to note here is that I also paid for some ads. Uh, and so this counts into my total watch time. So I didn't reach 4000 organic watch time hours until January 21st of 2024, which as you can see here is the first date that I started to actually monetize. And so my journey right here, as you can see, again, starting in April right here, April up until January was pretty consistently uploading a couple of videos per week. That was how long it took me to actually reach the point where I was able to monetize my YouTube account, right? So that's about nine months of pretty consistently uploading and my strategy on YouTube was simply to upload videos that people are commonly searching for to rank on YouTube search so people can discover my videos that way, my long form content. So that was how I decided to go about that uh, and get my views. I didn't have a lot of viral content that I was hoping to pop up. As you can see, it was just kind of like slow, steady, consistent growth through YouTube search and organic traffic, people finding my videos. So let's get into monetization and the first 30 days from January 21st until February 21st of 2024. Awesome, so now I have added in the next 30 days there and this is my first 30 days of monetization. I was able to earn $161.85. Keep in mind, I am in Canada, so this is in CAD, but you know, pretty decent results considering how many views I got during that time. And you can see, I have obviously the total here, right? And, and just to show you that it is, in fact, the first 30 days of my monetization right here. Let me drill down now into that actual 30 day window so you can see exactly how many views I got during that time. Okay, so this is now the 30 day window. So I got a total of 17,002 views during that 30 day window, my first 30 days monetizing. I got a total watch time hours of 763. And you can kind of see here pretty consistently getting around like 20, 25 views. And I got about 202 subscribers during that time as well. And so my total estimated revenue during this time was $161.85. And you can kind of see how that pretty consistently was about, you know, between $3, you know, $4 and about six, seven, $8, pretty consistently around there. 
Now we can actually do a breakdown as far as like content goes. So I'm gonna go over to revenue right here and this will show you a better view of exactly what's happening. So if we look at this time right here, what we can see is in January, I actually earned $50. In February, I earned 158. And in March, I'm projected to earn about 150 so far. At, this, at the time of recording, it's March 21st. So I'll probably earn, you know, 160-ish dollars right here. And you can see here, as far as where my revenue is being made, a lot of that is on the watch page ads. And very little of that is from shorts videos. I do have a lot of shorts, but I just don't find they generate a lot of views and they definitely don't generate a lot of revenue for me. It's more of a discovery tool so people can discover my channel through shorts and then go to my long form content. So you can see watch page ads have generated $161 for me. Of this, my top video has been the Facebook lookalike audience tutorial video. I also have Google Merchant Center tutorial video. A lot of them, honestly, all these videos are just tutorial videos, right? Those are the kind of videos that I do. People searching for a tutorial on a specific subject related to advertising, and I deliver that, and people can kind of check out those videos, and obviously it's working well, and I'm trying to double down on those videos that have done well for me. As far as shorts goes, as you can see here, my uh, total estimated revenue is 49 cents. So I've gotten 7,000 views, and my RPM for that is seven cents. And so I have a couple of different videos here, but I really am not gonna focus on this because it's such a small amount of revenue there. If you do get a lot of views though, this might be a whole you know, different channel for you and something you want to focus on. My RPM though, for my long form content, based on my industry, because I'm in digital marketing and advertising, it is more valuable. So my RPM is $15.81, which is on the higher end of the spectrum of RPM. All right, so I pulled up a quick graph here for you on YouTube RPM and CPM rates. I'm not sure how accurate these are, but just a quick article for you here. So low shorts RPM, you can look at one cents. Typical shorts RPM is about five cents. So you can see mine was about seven cents. High shorts RPM is eight cents. So again, mine falls closer to that high shorts RPM. For music, about 75 cents. For entertainment, pets and animal type of videos and industries, you're gonna get about a $1 RPM. For gaming, you're gonna get about a $2.5 RPM. For people and blogs and how to style, that's about $3.50. Education is about a $5 RPM. Digital marketing and finance on the lower end is $8 and digital marketing and finance on the upper end is $20. And so you can see my videos based on the results there. I'm definitely on the higher end based on my industry at a $15 RPM. I'm in digital marketing and so it is gonna be on that higher end because it's more valuable for advertisers to wanna advertise on my channel based on my content based on the type of people that are gonna watch my videos. So let's look at a couple other things now. Watch page ads. So this is again where all of my ad revenue pretty much came from. So you can see $159 came from watch page ads. So that's ads like on the video itself. You also have YouTube premium right here, which is people subscribe to YouTube premium that follow my channel, watch my channel. So that's about $2.36, which is not bad. I would expect that to go up over time and definitely is a nice little bonus there. You can go and see more here too. Those are really the only two categories here. This is just kind of an advanced view. Skippable video ads were the main one. So that made up 91% of my actual YouTube earnings. So those are the videos that happen while you're watching the actual video itself. I also had display ads, 3.9%, bumper ads, 3.3%, non-skippable video ads, about 1%, and unknown, about 0.2%. And that's how much advertisers pay. This is my CPM, which is a different rate right here. My CPM here is $45.31, which is a playback-based cost for every one thousand views. So the difference between CPM and RPM, just to break that down for you, is CPM is on the advertiser side. So this is the cost per 1,000 impressions that advertisers actually pay. And RPM is the revenue per 1,000 impressions that I actually receive as the creator itself. So if we look at these same industries right here, estimated RPM at $20, an estimated CPM at $36 right here is gonna differ. And so these numbers are gonna be higher. This is again, what the advertiser pays. And so for my actual videos, my CPM is quite high at about $45 and 31 cents. And again, my RPM is also quite high on the higher end there at about $15 and 81 cents for every 1K view. Now you can also go to shorts ads right here, kind of see the breakdown there. Again, I had very little shorts revenue, so nothing much to cover there. And then you also have supers there and anything else that you can kind of earn revenue from. If we go over to earn right here, there's a few ways to earn revenue. So you have your watch page ads. You can see your analytics for that. So you have your shorts feed ads. You also have memberships now. So if you want to set up a membership, you can charge subscribers monthly. So that is a good way to earn revenue that YouTube is pushing for. So something to keep in mind there. 
You also have your supers and you also have your shopping, which unlock at a faster rate than YouTube's premium partner program where you can earn revenue on watch ads. And this is a thing that's unlocked a lot sooner. All right, and lastly, let's compare my first 30 days monetizing with my next 30 days monetizing up until the current date, which is March 21st right here. So you can see last 28 days right here, we have February 22nd to March 20th right here. And so we can see we got 13.3K views, 677 watch hours, which is about 37 more than usual, 171 subscribers, about the same. And my estimated revenue was a bit higher at $196.56, which again, very happy with based on my number of views, um, you know, definitely not bad. And I honestly didn't really post a lot of new videos during this time. I posted some shorts and like one new video. I don't, yeah, I don't even think I posted a new long form video during that time. So I um, literally was just relying on watch page ads and all that stuff. And my YouTube has been still consistent, which is great to see without having really uploaded more videos. Um, so if we go again to the same time right here, my RPM during this time was $22. So based on that, you can see my RPM is really at the top end of that spectrum um, from revenue that you can earn from your actual videos. And so even though I didn't get a lot of views, a lot of watch hours, my revenue per those views, per those watch hours is very, very high. So don't expect this unless you're operating in the same industry as me. Again, refer to those CPM numbers to kind of understand how many views you need to get for how much revenue you want to unlock, right? So. For me, if I go back over to my channel right here, I go to watch page ads. You can see 73% was from skippable video ads, 24% was from display ads, 2% from bumper, 0.6 from non-skippable, et cetera. And then my CPM is about $70 this month. So a really high CPM as well. Again, based on my industry in digital marketing and advertising, very competitive and it's very valuable audience that's learning and consuming my content. So that's the reason behind that. But yeah, that's essentially my first 30 days monetizing. And just to give you a realistic idea of what that looks like. So I hope you enjoyed this video showing you monetizing my YouTube account and the first 30 days of monetization. You got to see behind the scenes of my entire YouTube journey. And my goal is really to keep consistently posting. And I wanna film these regularly so that I can show you what it looks like after one year, after two years, three, four, five, really committed to actually YouTube and growing my YouTube account. And I think it'd be really awesome to be transparent about what that journey looks like over time and how my revenue goes up, how my views go up, how my watch time, all that stuff transitions and goes up over time. So if you enjoyed this video and you wanna stick around for the journey and see all of those, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I post a lot of videos related to advertising. So if you find that interesting and all as well, I definitely recommend subscribing and also leave a like on this video. It helps a small channel like me really grow and reach more people. And I really, really appreciate that. All right, until the next one, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll catch you soon.